Yo, good afternoon, viewers of the tube. My name is Tyler of Chico Crypto. It's time to get yourself buckled in because some crypto knowledge is about to be sprinkled on you in another episode of Crypto and a Cold One. Today's featured brewski comes from St. Archer Brewing Company out of San Diego, California. It's their white ale. Mm-hmm, baby. Big old one for today. It's tasty. Kind of like a banana. So let's get this going. Probably gonna miss, but fuck, so close. It's this table. When I get a new table, it's over for you guys, I swear. So today I would like to circle back around to a cryptocurrency who is under the radar and looking to take head on a top three coin, XRP, formerly known as Ripple. Who is this competitor? The competitor is Ivy Coin, and the project is architecturally improved over Ripple in four main areas. Number one, Ivy Coin is designed to break KYC AML barriers between crypto and existing financial systems, while XRP does not have KYC AML included in its core design. This means with XRP, know your customer and know your transaction data is not associated with the crypto. While Ivy has over 74 KYC data points and over 120 know your transaction data points. Most people know that XRP has a centralized form of transaction validation, while Ivy is promoting a decentralized validation system. Also, XRP's public coin economics are not transparent whatsoever, with large amounts of the tokens held in private reserves. Ivy Coin, on the other hand, has their public coin economics driven by utility. Most of us know that the global financial payment system market is ripe to be revolutionized by cryptocurrency. In the current swing of things, one platform, Swift, directs a transfer of nearly $5 trillion worldwide each day, or $1.25 quadrillion per year. The normal process goes like this. An originator initiates a transfer. The originator's financial institution receives the payment order and transmits the funds to the beneficiary's financial institution, who then transfers the money to the beneficiary. This is how normal business works, and for each transfer of money that goes through the process, AML rules must be followed, and KYC and KYT info must be included. That is exactly where XRP falls short and where Ivy Coin shines. They adhere to all AML rules and, as mentioned before, have a suite of KYC and KYT. Now, why would financial institutions like banks choose crypto? Well, the benefits of crypto over traditional financial system is already well understood. Number one, it's faster. Two, it's easier. Three, it's cheaper. Four, it's trackable. Five, no delay. Six, more data. And number seven, it's immutable and secure. Now, why would they choose Ivy? Ivy Coin is making themselves even more attractive to financial institutions by adding more KYC and KYT data points in traditional financial systems. Swift just has 10 data points included in a transaction. Fedwire 17, Chips 9, and Automated Clearinghouse 10. Let's scroll through the KYC data points of some transactions through Ivy Coin. A shit ton more, which is more attractive to banks, businesses, and even individuals. A good breakdown of what Ivy Coin will be in the future is the bridge that connects businesses and banks and allows cryptocurrency to settle the transactions for them, allowing the transactions to be faster, safer, and cheaper, and the transfers are to be global. So Ivy Network has a dual token model where senders of tokens operate on the public Ivy Coin network with Ivy tokens, and parties that provide financial settlements to fiat participate on the Ivy private network with Ivy B tokens. Let's now go through the process of a money transfer using the Ivy platform and the dual network model. First, a sender and receiver inputs or accesses their KYC and KYT data. This data is stored in data containers. Second, the sender commits to sending Ivy to the Ivy Send smart contract, which holds Ivy in escrow. Third, the Ivy Send smart contract releases messages of a pending transaction to the Ivy Receive smart contract. Now, here is where the private network of Ivy comes into play and the second token comes into play, IVB. IVB, when fully developed, will be asset-backed token that reflects the Ivy private network account holders that have fiat reserves capable of clearing transactions on the Ivy network. Again, third, IV receive has notification of transactions pending, 
which it sends to financial institutions, as well as the financial intermediaries, the one, the account holders. The financial intermediary stakes IVB, which signals the financial institution of a cash deposit. This causes the receive contract to direct the IV send contract to release the escrow of IV to the IV treasury, who then sends it to the financial intermediary. The USD is then paid to the financial institution, which is then accessed by the receiver. And then the IVB that was staked is then released back to the financial intermediary. Finally, everyone is paid and everyone is happy. You know how I mentioned that IV was going to become attractive to financial institutions? Well, that is totally the case as IV is being acquired by Australian fintech company Change Financial, who has recently been moving towards blockchain. Ownership by Change Financial is a great thing for this platform as it will provide additional liquidity because both individuals and companies can get exposure to IV tokens on public stock exchanges. This is done via the company's stock in Australia and the company's stock in the United States. Change's board of directors are no jokers. They have experience from both PayPal, Goldman Sachs, and other banks. The fit between Ivy and Change is actually quite nice. One of the bigger updates coming for Ivy Coin is regarding the release of a much anticipated stop on the roadmap, Ivy Pay. Ivy has partnered with HiveX, one of the largest OTC brokerage firms for cryptocurrency, to make IV Pay happen. What is IV Pay? Well, it's going to allow you to turn your cryptocurrency into fiat instantly. No waiting around. Once it's sold, the fiat is in your account. The platform is powered by IV Coin, and the tokens are used to instantly send all the needed KYC and KYT data to your bank. So let's walk through some screen grabs to see how simple this is going to be. First, you will select the cryptocurrency you want to exchange. The next step is to enter where you would like to receive the money. You will then have to begin the KYC process. The next step is to transfer your crypto to a crypto address. Then just await confirmation and you're done. Money is in your bank and they have the crypto. So IE Pay is expected to launch later this year and will first launch in Australia. Users will be able to convert the crypto to both Australian dollars and US dollars. Of course, they are looking to expand the reach of the application, moving into Western markets like Europe and America, as well as Asian markets. Well, viewers, the project came out of nowhere with no ICO and has been feeling the pains of a bear market, just like every other cryptocurrency project. The market cap of the project is around 10 million, and if they are able to even become a small competitor to Ripple, this project is seriously undervalued. Cheers, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow.